they're going to slack. And they're going to settle for less. Because they're happy with, if they get a, you know, when they first get their first world title, or they get a million dollars, they're happy with that. Or they get a few million dollars, they're happy with that. They feel like that's, that's everything. You got to push yourself and tell yourself it ain't never enough. Take notes. That's it. So the infamous Tony Bellew, the former light heavyweight slash cruiserweight champion and now heavyweight contender, the infamous, the bomber, Tony Bellew, has recently come out and said that he actually thinks that Dillian White is not ready for Deontay Wilder. And he said this based off the fight that happened last weekend against Dillian White, against him, against Robert Hellenius. Interestingly enough, he actually uh, mentioned some of the same things I mentioned in my post-fight interview. I mean, not interview, a post-fight analysis of how I thought that fight played out. And he said stuff like, Dillian White was struggling with the movement and the height of Robert Hellenius. And funny enough, this is the exact thing I said. If you look at the first five rounds of that fight, Robert Hellenius was using a jab and he was moving. He was fighting a tall man's fight. He was forcing Dillian White to come towards him. Dillian White looked clumsy. He was throwing wild shots. Robert Hellenius was making him miss a lot of times. You don't believe me? Look at the first five rounds. He was missing wildly. He was getting outboxed. Robert Hellenius has a habit of capitulating under pressure and just wilting. He's done this several times in his career. And that's what happened against Dillian White. Not everybody is like Robert Hellenius. Many heavyweights actually have heart. This is why I was so confident in Dillian White losing and getting stopped by someone like Deontay Wilder. Because imagine if Wilder, we've seen Wilder outbox people. He, Wilder's, Deontay Wilder's probably going to go on the back foot against uh, Bermain Stavern this weekend. But I've seen, uh, what's his name, Deontay Wilder fighting the back foot against Bermain Stavern, against Johan Duopas. Imagine if Wilder being the same height as Johan Duopas, six foot uh, three, I don't know, six foot seven, having an even longer reach than Johan Duopas, six foot, you know, 80 inch, three, 80 inch reach. Imagine if he decides to fight in the back foot and he decides, you know what, I'm going to force Dillian White to come forward because I know he's not the best at cutting off the ring. I'm telling you right now, he will be able to outbox Dillian White. The difference between Wilder and Robert Hellenius is he actually is has one punch knockout power and he's mean. He's not going to just, Deontay Wilder will not just wilt and capitulate under pressure because he has Dillian White coming after him. He's actually going to fight toe to toe to him. And because Dillian White is clumsy, and because Dillian White has a chip on his shoulder, and because he gets aggressive and he's going to try and knock out Wilder, he's going to leave himself open for that right hand. If you look at the second round, the end of the second round, Dillian White comes in clumsy, and a slow Robert Hellenius lands a thudding right hand down the pipe and actually buckles Dillian White. Robert Hellenius is nowhere near as fast on the back foot or nowhere near, near as fast as a heavyweight as Deontay Wilder. Wilder will make... If Wilder has the opportunity, he, when he sees uh, Dillian White throwing those clumsy punches in, in the early rounds, that's when he's going to land that right hand. I will not be surprised if it's an early stoppage. And I, I totally agree with someone like like, like Tony Bellew. Now, some people might say, well, Tony Bellew is only saying this because Tony Bellew, you know, he doesn't like Dillian White. They kind of have a beef with each other. But Tony Bellew has always come across as a guy that, he is just honest. I've I've seen Tony Bellew's, you know, just because I'm not from the UK don't mean I, I keep up with UK fighters. I've seen Tony Bellew's several interviews of Tony Bellew. One thing I noticed about Tony Bellew is he's a very honest guy. He's a very honest person. I remember when there was like that shooting in the, or like that terrorist attack in the, in London, in the arena. I think it was like a concert, like an Adrian the Grande concert, right? And they asked his opinion of it, and he was just, he was keeping it, like, as honest as he could. He was being very raw. He was saying stuff like they need, you know, all this stuff. I remember when Kell Brook quit against Errol Spence Jr. And the post-fight interview, he was like, 
he kept it honest. He was like, I, he didn't like the fact that Kell Brook quit. He said if it was him, he would never quit. So that's one thing I've always liked and respected about Tony Bellew is he's a very honest person. When he sees something and he sees something that he doesn't like about a fighter or he sees the flaw of a fighter, he will let you know his honest opinion. And that's why I tend to believe him. I don't think it's just a thing where he's like, oh, I don't like Dillian White, so I'm going to talk badly about Dillian White and I want to try to demine him and act like he's going to lose to Wallet. No, I just think that he saw that Dillian White, just like I saw that Dillian White, you know, 